All right, today is the day we get 40% more cooling in the Z for uh, VGs and RBs alike. They like to get a little warm, so we're gonna cool it down a little bit. We got a package in from GK Tech. Well, bam. And uh, I've been wanting to put it in. Try to do this one handed. There she is. GK Tech's radiator fan replacement. Now, on SR20s and I believe KAs, this offers about 50% more cooling. On RBs and VGs, uh, about 40% just with the size of the fan and the pitch of the blades. But that right there is definitely going to be an upgrade to the old radiator fan. Um, this one right here has got the mounting brackets for SR and um, the KA series motors. This bracket that you need to get from them is a coupler to go from that bolt style to the VGs and RBs. And of course it comes with the hardware and the uh, spring lock washers. So yeah, we're gonna get the old one off now. All right, first things first, let's get that old fan out. All right, first thing, we have to get these four 10 millimeters out and wiggle this fan out of here. And of course, while we're here, we're actually going to replace these uh, radiator top mount bushings. They are completely gone. We'll have to take these out so that way we can push the radiator forward and get the actual fan out without having to take the shroud out and all that other fun stuff. And you can definitely tell it's needed. Common problem with all these Nissan fans is uh, they start cracking. And there's another crack. There's another crack. There's another two cracks. And of course, when you're up in the revs and these things, they spin pretty fast. So this will eventually crack all the way through, break, possibly take out your blades, your shroud, even a radiator, hose. And then you're going to be sitting on the side of the road, shit out of luck. All right, now that we got the radiator fan out, she's seen better days. Got about 150,000 miles on her. The clutch portion of this is still is still good. So all we have to do is take these four 10 mils out because we're going to be adapting it to the new GK Tech uh, radiator fan. So start with those bad boys. All right, without the boring details of me taking out the bolts, voila, got the old one off. Like I said. She had some cracks. She is on her way out. So I'm glad, really glad that I decided to change this thing. Plus, can't beat 40% more cooling. Like that's just cross the board better without having to change radiator and all these other things that need to be changed eventually down the road. This will definitely help. She's a little dirty. I might clean that off before adapting her to the new fan. And then of course, I'll show you how we uh, attach that one. All right, go set that to the side. Clean it up a little bit. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your mounting bracket that goes for the RBs and the VGs. Obviously line her up on the holes there. And in there will be the long M6 bolts. Obviously got four. Then you got the spring washers for then once you got those on there and go ahead and stick the fan on there lining up the other accessory holes and then the short m6 are going to go on there so i'm going to go ahead and do that real quick all right and with the help of movie magic we are now all attached goodbye old one for good and don't forget that uh your spring washers, 
definitely want to put them on every bolt. You don't want this coming loose. Uh, of course, the long ones go down into the clutch fan. The short ones attach the fan to the actual um, assembly for the VGRB conversion from the SR20 and KA um, stock mounting uh, pattern. And then, of course, got to make sure that you have it on the right way front and engine. If you don't, all she's going to do is push hot air into your fan or your radiator, and you don't want that. All right, now time to put her on. All right, now to finish today's install, these bushings are gone for the top of the radiator support. They've definitely been dry rotted for a long time. So I went on to Z1 and got myself some replacement ones. These are actually OEM, so perfect. I don't need to go balls to the wall with them. to do this one-handed there we go these are going to be night and day difference to hold that thing and not let that radiator shake all around while i'm driving perfect gonna put those into the mounts put the mounts on and then we're gonna drive this car today all right that will conclude today's install on my radiator fans on the 300 zx now I'm going to end the video probably just with some cruising shots and take a drive. It's not really warm to test out the radiator's cooling ability now, but we'll try it anyway. Well, it's the next day. I didn't get to drive the Nissan, uh, so I parked it back up in the front of the uh, front garage. Unfortunately, it took a lot of my time yesterday to not only go from replacing the radiator fan in this which she looks great now pop the hoodie in real quick all right kind of hard to see with how dark it is but she's in there she looks good and she works not too hot around these parts right now here in Michigan, but when it gets warm, we'll be able to actually test it, see if it overheats, see if it climbs in the heat. Uh, last year during grid life in the waiting line, she got pretty warm, so I had to pop open the hood and let her cool down a little bit. But what took me most of my better part of yesterday to do after the Z was my Lexus. GS400 I had to replace the starter on her which for as you you know that with the 400 it's got the one UZ V8 uh, Starters underneath the intake manifold so you have to take out the whole top of the engine to get to it So it took forever never want to do it again, but she's got a new starter and she is looking pretty I cleaned her up yesterday and of course she's nice and low um, she's on Tunabi uh, medallion coilovers from Japan. Um, and yeah, she's looking pretty good. I can't wait to uh, either sell her or, I don't know, start driving her maybe. I have some 18 inch uh, Lexus SC340 wheels, or sorry, 430 wheels that might go on this. We'll have to see though. But for now, it's pretty much it. Didn't really get the driver. We might get the driver later. Once the weather starts warming up a little bit. Kind of waiting for uh, nice summer weather to be able to take the T-tops off. And uh, take her for a drive. Until then, guess uh, next video will be up soon. Probably of the other cars. Whether it be the Lexus, the Supra, maybe the other 300ZX. Maybe even the Thunderbird I've got. So, see you later.